Every second, 60,000 search queries are performed on Google and 1.2 trillion searches per year. 1 billion pieces of content are shared via Facebook Open Graph every day. By 2025, the data science analytics sector in India is estimated to grow eightfold, reaching 16 billion dollar. Right now, the US leads the data science market, requiring 190,000 data scientists by next year. So, if you are curious, curious to know about data analysis, then watch this video till end. Let's first talk about data analysis. Data analytics refer to the technique used to analyze data to enhance productivity and business gain. Data is being collected from different resources and is cleaned and analyzed to understand the pattern of data. Lots of company uses data analysis to represent the data in different graphical forms. Like Google Analytics is one of the best example. Also YouTube Analytics is a great example of data analysis and visualization. Companies uses data analysis to understand the growth of their business like sales, productivity or customer behavior. If you want to become a data analyst, then you must learn a tool or programming like R, Python, SAS, RapidMiner, Click, Tableau, Power BI or Excel. Here we are going to start with Power BI. In this Power BI series, you will learn all the important concepts of Power BI and develop a foundational understanding of how to use this tool. In data visualization, we are going to cover a few important charts that every business intelligence developer or a data analyst must know, like column charts, pie charts, scatter plot, area plot, funnel charts, and all. Then we will look at few of the filter techniques in Power BI, like slicers, basic filter, advanced filter, top end, page level, report level filters. Finally. We'll be looking how dashboards and reports works in Power BI. But first, let's talk about what is Power BI. So, Power BI is a business analytics service provided by Microsoft. It is a data visualization and a business intelligence tool, and it's a user-friendly tool offering impressive drag-and-drop features and self-service capabilities. With the help of this desktop version of Power BI. We can just simply drag and drop and build any sort of graph like this. Power BI platforms are like desktop-based. Uh, Power BI also have the support for mobile user. There is a cloud-based service called Power BI service used to view and share the dashboards. Now let's talk why we need Power BI. Further, let us discuss a few points regarding why Power BI is an important tool in today's time and why do we need it here. So I have listed few points like. It provides you custom visualizations, uh, inbuilt dashboards, quick deployment, real-time analysis, artificial intelligence, and it also let you connect SQL Server databases and many other data sources. Now, who are the users of Power BI? Power BI users are categorized into four sections, like analysts, business users, IT professionals, and developers. So, analyst uses Power BI. to develop reports dashboards data models and study them to discover valuable insight in the data business users are the common user who study the reports and dashboards available to share with them on power bi website or mobile app it professionals are mainly concerned with scalability availability and security of data and developers are responsible for all the technical work their key role is to create the custom visuals now there is a comparison between power bi tableau and click You can see easily Power BI is like the uh, most used tool in current time in 2020 2021 in the upcoming year Power BI is becoming more and more popular because it's a beginner tool Tableau is kind of an advanced tool so that's why Power BI was not used as much as earlier but now and this is the Power BI interest by reason you can see in India in Gurgaon it is used a lot then in Auckland in Bangalore in Copenhagen Sao Paulo so there are these are the top 5 cities where power bi is used a lot now we are going to talk about data connections in power bi what are the power bi data sources you can connect to uh, cloud based service sources on premises data sources using gateway online services direct connections and all so there is a few uh, options that i am showing you that power bi can connect like files of excel text csv xml pdf and all then it also it can also connect with databases like sql server access database oracle sap hana and all it can also connect with online services like salesforce azure devs google analytics adobe analytics and all facebook github like social media platforms and it can also connect with python r script uh, web spark hadoop 
and also it provides you the support for IoT. So this was the basic introduction of Power BI. In the next video, we will learn more about Power BI, how to install it and what is the architecture of it. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more.